Hi everybody. I'm making this video to show you the way in which we need to start recording our after hours calls. We need to do it this way because it will, as you will see, be an easier way for us to be able to look back at uh, the after hours call. But more importantly, it's going to be also um, better reportable through PCMH, better trackable and reportable through PCMH. So let's get started. First, when we get a patient call and it's nighttime, we'll get it as, a, as either a phone call or a page and we'll look at our phones or, or receive the call. And as we've been doing right now, we've been pulling the chart. Some of us have been pulling the chart and recording the call and some of us pull the chart a little later and record the call. So in this way of doing it, you don't actually have to pull the chart. Um, you can actually just pull a, a message because it's going to be saved as a patient message. I still would recommend that you pull the chart first rather than going directly to message because I think it's always beneficial to be able to have a patient's chart in front of us when we're talking to them because you never know what surprises you're going to find on the chart. So the two ways we can do it are either, like you just see, I pulled the chart or if you didn't have the chart up, you could go directly to messages. And if you went directly to messages, you did a patient message, you would have to choose the ellipsis and find the patient and do it like that. But in this situation, since we have the chart is open, all we have to do is hit the folder. That will pull the patient up. Then the next thing we do is two, we will actually be sending it to ourselves. So it would be Raul Sanchez for me. The subject, if you just put A, after hours call and immediately comes up. And that's it, the subject will always be after hours call, okay? Then you have to put this clinical advice information. Patient requested, you need to click that box and exactly put in the time that you receive the page. You can just look at your phone for that. And then clinical response provided is when you call the patient back. And as you know, our goal is to call the patients within 20 minutes of when we receive the call. Obviously, as quick as we can, but certainly within 20 minutes. Then we record the message, and this is, this is where I give you your own clinical freedom. You're going to write whatever you want based on, the, on your conversation with that patient, whatever is relevant or important. And then the next thing we're going to do is now save to chart. Okay, so this saves this, this phone call encounter, whatever clinical advice, whatever you wanted to put on there to the chart, and that's it. We're done. Now, um, then you can just close the window. You can close the window right here and you're done and close the patient's chart if you want to. Now, if you actually are requesting something from the nurse, i.e. based on this encounter, you need that nurse to call. So if it's on a Saturday, you've left the office at 12, you've got the beeper, you get a call, you need that patient scheduled for the next day, or if it's 11 o'clock at night, same thing. We need to be able to know where then we can send this message so the nurse will, will respond to it. So the nurses that come on um, after an after hours call physician or nurse practitioner has been on will be instructed to go to a certain box. And that box I've created is called, you'll see it up here, pretty simple, after hours triage. It's just the third box down. So then what you do is you can send this to after hours triage. And what I would do, I would, I would put over here um, um, at the beginning of your message and you can just kind of return a couple times and you can just say something like, please, um, either please call and check on patient in the morning or yada yada, or please call patient um, to schedule appointment or please p place patient in the chart at blank blank time. So whatever instruction you want from them and then you just send this to the after hours triage nurse and then the after hours triage nurse will make sure that gets done. So it'll save us having to call or text or whatever once again, they will be instructed to check their after hours box whenever they come on. So if you want to know where this patient's message went into the chart, you'll see that it will, it's under patient messages, it's got the date, and it says patient message and after hours call. So you can always then look under the patient messages to see when patients have been called. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I will be deleting out the reason, the after hours call reason for visit because we no longer want you doing that. We need you recording the calls this way. All right? Thank you.